Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unmanned, Kawasaki jams H2R Superbike motor in UAV testbed, Autel Evo Nano inbound to US, and Next Gen Reaper drone unveiled, the Mojave. Hi, I'm Holland Lee. Welcome to the Aero News Network's Airborne Unmanned program, a weekly news program covering all things unmanned in partnership with AUVSI, the Association for Unmanned Vehicle Systems International. Here are today's stories. Kawasaki has further refined its K-Racer X1 UAV prototype, taking its previously stayed run-of-the-mill power plant to the next level by cramming in the engine from their top-of-the-line H2R Superbike. Japan seems continually enamored by the concept of gas-powered VTOL aircraft, with the X-Turismo hoverbike similarly propelled by a wrapped-out bike engine while in hover. The 1,000cc supercharged 310 horsepower heart is a fine, high-output machine while installed in its bike form, where the complete ensemble weighs just over 475 pounds. In the K-Racer, the power is capable of lifting the aircraft with a 220-pound payload. The drone doesn't just break from convention with its power systems or trapper-keeper-worthy exhaust system, but its large, nearly automotive size. Kawasaki claims the system was designed for, quote, high speeds that were not technically possible for conventional helicopters, end quote. Kawasaki Heavy Industries could very well see this small, unmanned helicopter as a design to scale upwards, not downwards. It seems somewhat apparent that raucous, high-strung aerial sport bikes screaming around cities at the H2R's peak power band of 14,000 RPM wouldn't be long for this world, so the K-Racer probably won't be Japan's next pharmacy delivery UAV. Coming up, Starship's launch date pushed back. I'll tell you why after the break. Pilot Communications USA is proud to introduce our latest headsets, the Carbon A1 Active Noise Reduction and the Carbon P1 Passive Headset. Carbon fiber makes our headsets 30% lighter than others, which significantly reduces pilot fatigue. Our Blue Link Hand Control Unit allows you to connect two devices at the same time, and the record out capability can send audio to an onboard camera or digital recorder. Get the headset that's so light you may forget you're wearing one at pilot-usa.com. Whether you're charting a steady course or pushing for the ceiling, Hartzell Propeller has been elevating flight for over 100 years. It's in our passion for engineering and research. It's in our dedication to testing the limits of performance and creating propellers that are as safe as they are sexy. Now, together with our dedicated family of companies, we're propelling the future of aviation. We are Hartzell Propeller, built on honor. Are you ready to ace your FAA drone pilot knowledge test, get your remote pilot certificate, and start earning money? Well, flying a drone is a great tool that can open up new business opportunities for anyone. Realtor, insurance adjuster, videographer, or commercial weekend drone warrior, you need to fly legally. Whether you're pursuing your initial Part 107 remote pilot certificate, or you need a renewal, King Schools has a course just for you. So start learning today at kingschools.com. In the next Unmanned Minute, let's take a brief look at some of the shorter stories that are making the rounds of the unmanned vehicle communities. SpaceX's ambitious Starship heavy launch vehicle has been pushed to mid-March at the earliest, owing to a few issues that must be completed prior to live launch attempts. The FAA has stated it has yet to complete the Necessary Programmatic Environmental Assessment, or PEA, for the project. The change in the agency timeline has come as little surprise after the November delay when the PEA was expected to be complete by December 31st. Quote, the new target date for issuing a final PEA is February 28th, end quote, reads an FAA tweet. The Dusk Corporation of Osaka, Japan, has completed testing on their first anti-WASP extermination drone. Japan's WASP hives are famously dangerous, causing anywhere from 10 to 20 fatalities annually. The hands-on process of elimination has been improved with the aircraft, allowing multi-story, high-altitude infestations to be removed with no risk. The pest control and cleaning company began developing the drones in 2020, conducting demonstration tests for local prefecture governments and the new industry research organization in Kobe. An Ohio woman was surprised to find a crashed drone with sundry drug trafficking accoutrement, including bagged marijuana, cell phones, and tobacco after it hit her house. She contacted the Richland County Sheriff, telling deputies that the package was attached to a drone with a cord beeping loudly. It was lightly modified, only having some of the running lights covered up for enhanced stealth. 
The sheriff said, quote, We believe the drone is worth about $2,100. If anyone is missing it and wants to claim it, they can come to the sheriff's office, end quote. The yearly tradition of unmanned aviators has been quiet this year in a hobby that often sees swaths of excited new drone owners exploring the legal limits of their fresh new toys. The Cornwall Seal Group Research Trust issued a reminder after its founder witnessed a group of resting seals sprint underwater, frightened by a drone. She reminds operators that many animals boast superior senses to humans and often experience stress responses from what seems reminiscent of a fast-moving, shrieking aerial predator. That was our Unmanned Minute, now back to the rest of the news. Soon to come to North American locales, Autel has announced its Evo Nano and Light series of drones will be in customer hands in the near future. The premium workaday UAVs have improved on previous Autel fareware accounts, improving battery life to 40 minutes, while also improving the obstacle avoidance, video resolution, and transmission range to tackle even bigger projects. The first shipment, according to Autel, has made its way into their hands and is undergoing final quality control checks before making its way to distributors. Both the Nano and Light series offer a base-level standard drone, as well as a plus version with added accoutrement and more premium features. Each drone has benefited from increased resolution, up to 6K on the Light Plus model, as well as transmission range just under 7.5 miles. Improved visual sensors all around offer three-directional obstacle avoidance with enhanced software response. For those times when operators push the system just a bit too far, the bright safety orange or red color will help find the wayward craft. Autel's improvements also make their way to the user's software with the improved Sky app. Coming up after the break, meet the next-gen Reaper drone, the Mojave. In Diamond Aircraft, innovation is in our DNA. Whether you're taking to the skies for training or business travel, every aircraft in Diamond's lineup features innovative technology, an industry-leading safety record, superior performance and efficiency, and a comfortable flying experience. No other company has pioneered as many aviation firsts, achieved more milestones, or received the same amount of industry praise as Diamond. Discover why Diamond Aircraft is one of the most trusted manufacturers in aviation at diamondaircraft.com. Aviation Safety Resources is disrupting the market for aircraft emergency parachute recovery systems. ASR systems are smaller, lighter weight, and offer longer repack cycles than similar products available in the current market. ASR has a recovery system available for every type of aircraft. Sport, experimental, light sport, general aviation, urban air mobility, vertical takeoff and landing, electric propulsion, and unmanned aerial systems. Find the right product for your aircraft at AviationSafetyResources.com. Skyleader Aircraft offers a lineup of the most powerful, durable, and efficient light sport aircraft in the industry. From trainers to roomy cockpits for long hauls, Skyleader has an aircraft for you. And the best part? They're in your budget. Skyleader's base prices are set low to give you room to customize your aircraft to your needs, desires, and wallet, allowing you to put your money where it matters to you most. Visit FlySkyleader.com today to learn about our aircraft, customization options, and chat with the team. General Atomics Aeronautical Systems unveiled their newest UAV, descended from their successful MQ-9 Reaper and MQ-1C Gray Eagle military aircraft. The Mojave is based on those foundations, but focused more on short takeoff and landing operations with heavier payloads. The enhanced 450 horsepower turboprop and improved lift devices address long-standing complaints of the limited payloads and forward basing requirements. The ability to fly from unimproved surfaces with similar endurance and capability to legacy Reapers should be a strong attractor to buyers. Packing up to 16 Hellfire missiles or 3,800 pounds of payload, the Mojave boasts the standard suite of optical and infrared synthetic aperture radar, ground-moving target indicators, and signal intelligence. General Atomics seems to have addressed the greatest concerns for their previous UAVs, allowing for a simple multi-mission vehicle that can tackle the majority of unmanned tasks operators could ask of it. The prototype flew for the first time over the summer, and development is reportedly continuing on pace. The Mojave could eventually be capable of carrier-based operations and sea-based support, a handy change that could save some money by expanding its user base and standardizing drone equipment across armed services. Well, that's our program for today. You can catch episodes of Airborne on YouTube, Roku, and Fire TV. Just search for Aero News or Airborne. And don't forget to follow us on social media. Thanks for watching.